episode of what a horse welcome jerry thank you for having me <laughs> i gotta pay you what do you mean thank you for having me <laughs> thank you he thank said, you thank you very said, much i ain't coming unless i'm getting a check <laughs> <laughs> i didn't but like your presence there that's, jerry that's the way it's supposed to be yeah, right no so, i didn't like your presence i didn't oh, like to be right it? here next to you that's because i pay him <laughs> otherwise he'd be on a horse somewhere <laughs> yeah so that's the way it works well since, since i'm paying you go ahead and do it we'll be right back after these messages Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Seabring and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I got some announcements. Uh, let's see here. Belfast Lions Club is Saturday, uh, Friday night, June 16th. You can call uh, Nancy Lynn Green at 931-993-3187. And Joseph Goldman is going to be the judge. It starts at 530. Saturday, Arab Classic. You can call Jamie Bradshaw, 256-679-0083. And Judge John Allen Calloway will be the judge. I've watched him judge. Oh, he's a good judge. He's a good judge. John yes, Allen is. 
Walking for the Angels is the 23rd and 24th. It's going to be at the Ag Center in Shelbyville. You can call Julie Graham, 931-619-2520. Start time Friday night is 5. Saturday night is 4. That's the 23rd and 24th. Mike Hilly, Jason Hughes, and Ryan Parker will be the judges. I tell you what, these classes, the summer, the Arabs got 30 classes. Julie's got 63 classes. And then here comes the big one. Christmas in July, 27th through the 29th. 107 classes be held at the Ag Center. Call Carol Misseldine, 919-437-6597. Judge is each night, 4.30 start time. Chris Bobo, Brent Greider, and Chris Zan will be the judges. They're doing something special. They got a class for the youth class that they've got a thousand dollars jackpot. Going to be split between the trainer and the youth that wins it, and any money that is added to it will go to the youth. So that, that's pretty that good. The youth, good. a bunch yeah. of other people jump in. You know, we did that, except we drew a hundred dollars a lick. We ended yeah. up with twelve hundred bucks. Uh -huh. So we had seven hundred went to someone else. Five hundred went. Trainer didn't get nothing. <laughs> yeah. That might be why she's giving the trainer something. They might have got upset because they didn't get enough. You're right. You can't ever tell. Did you get upset? No, I didn't get upset. You didn't, no. you didn't have a horse in no. it. No, you did too. Yeah. You had you had a horse in the fight. Okay. Cancer show had 134 entries and ended up with a 99% compliance rate. London, Kentucky, you show had 35 classes, 108. They had one pre-show and one post-show, no scratches up there. But here, here's significance about this. Second, third, the government was there. Second, third had to go back through inspection. So if you count all of the inspections they went through, they went through 178 inspections, 99% compliance rate. Yeah. That is good. And plus, if you just look at the entries, in the inspections, they have one pre-show. That's a 99% yeah. compliance rate, too. But the thing is, the trainers are bringing horses. Inspectors are inspecting. And I think it's a whole lot better now because the government inspectors are actually just inspecting to see if there is a violation. They're not trying to create a violation. violation. Yeah, you're right. And uh, I was heard in Crossville, they didn't have any problems at all in Crossville. Uh, they had a new inspector up there that they was working with, that, but they didn't, I mean, they wasn't really inspecting horses, they was teaching her. Yes. And that's what we ought to, we ought to work together. Oh yeah, you need to. You need uh -huh. to work together, and I think everything will turn out a lot better if you do. Well, I know, I'll be talking to you or Jeremy, and, and y'all will be talking about a horse and things that you're working on. I don't see a problem, but y'all seem y'all see something that this could become a problem. We need to work with this. Yeah. Which it, it makes everything go better. Yeah. Especially shoeing. Yeah, that's right. You got to keep up on the shoeing, make sure everything's legal, and on the, from the bands and the, and, the, and the height of the shoes and stuff like that, because that's just some of the little things that you overlook. And you get in trouble about. Well, I know that horse over there. I looked at him. I thought, I mean, I, I thought his feet was looked fine. His hooves, you know, as far. Yeah. And uh, you said they ain't long enough. They're too short. And here comes Jeff. He measured. He said, Jerry, that hoof has to grow some. And that, I mean, things like this happen. Then we yeah. had a horse that broke both toes off. Yeah. And uh, I talked to Vicky. <laughs> Vicky said, Yep, I've had that happen to me too. So, I mean, things happen that people, you know, they really don't think about. Yeah, that's and, right. And all the things these trainers go through, so they work hard to go to the show and get a horses in. I think that's what the main thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, right. I'm, I'm very complimentary about these uh, trainers up in Kentucky. Yeah. No scratches, 99% compliance. I think that's pretty good. Who is it you're always talking about that uh, he, he's always got something to say? Keezer? Yeah. Well, I want Russ to, Keezer. Hey, yeah. yeah. Russ, th this was for you right here. I want everybody to know that's Russ Keezer. 
overalls and all. So there was no flag in the arena. I ran into him meeting at the country cafe the other day. Oh, Russ, now he's a he's a prime. He like to watch this show. Now he's gonna tell me every time I see him about what's going on. To, well, I want him to TV tell show. me what's wrong and what's good and what's bad. He will. And then we'll <laughs> we'll take it from there and see. I tell you what, I am. Uh, I'm excited about this, what Carol Misseldine's doing this Christmas in July. They've got a ton of classes, but when you look at having special classes for the youth, yes. and it's where they can get, that'll bring their youth out of them. That'll bring their youth out. Jerry, I'm gonna tell you about me on the, the winnings and stuff like that. <clears> on <throat> When I got a youth that's showing in a class and I might, and everybody might be mad at me, but I don't never take that prize money from that youth. I let him have that. I because like I think it. I think that is something that he deserves and that make him look forward to having something or whatever they, instead they, of getting they'll that grow up. Yeah. They'll grow up and be good customers. <laughs> That's right. Yep. They think, but I've got youth for them. I mean, once they become an adult, they they got to grow up. They got to grow up. <laughs> they got to grow but up. They got to give I, it up. I don't never, you know, I just let them have the, the prize money and just let them enjoy that. And that's something that they can take and do whatever they want to because they right. feel like they work for it. Well, really hard. Some of these kids, they work real hard. Yes. And, and I, when I was talking to Carol about her class, we've got youth in, in our division that, uh, I mean, they're, they're some of the best riders around. Yes. And when you look at children, the youth from the, the trainer's kids, I mean, they can ride. Yeah. You got little county green. But now she she can flat ride oh, a yes. horse. You got Jada Callaway, mm -hmm. she can flat ride a horse. And there's others. And then you turn around and look at the other kids that are out there, like Allie Joe, Eli. These these are all kids that they love to ride. Right, yes. And they work. And then the Beasley twins. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can flat ride horses. Oh yeah. A lot probably a lot better than me. And I I love to ride don't ride as much as I used to, but I don't know what it is about them. It seems like they just grow into it and they keep getting better, 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 better. and better. <clears throat> better and better every time you get ready, every like, time they ride in the like show. Like yeah. Smith. Mm -hmm. And then she, she becomes a veterinarian. Yeah. So it, it's just a lot out there. What else we got to talk about? Oh yeah. Um, we've got some shows coming up later this year that are scattered all over the place. So I just want to ask people to, you know, look where the show's close to you. Because we had a pretty good crowd at the cancer show oh, yes. this weekend. Mm -hmm. They had a good show over there. Well, I know that in the fun show, it was crowded, but we went to Columbia and each night, it seemed like the crowd got bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's a good thing because if without the participants, then we're in hurt. You know, with the crowd that was at the show this past weekend, at the cancer show, plus you had the show in Crossville that was going right. on. So that kind of split everybody up, but they still had pretty good crowd over at the cancer well, show. Had one going on in London, a youth yeah. show in mm -hmm. London. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I've got to say this. What really tickled me was every year we have to put up with the protesters in Columbia. And they normally come and they, they just harass everybody all three nights. One night they was down there on the rail and scared a horse that was in there. But they decided because of the law that you can video your horse while it's being inspected. They figured they found an angle to get into the inspection area, which they entered a horse. But they entered the horse and the horse went through inspection and Saturday night, they didn't show back up. Yes. Which uh, was a little different. And it may be because they found out that passing one of these inspections is not as easy as they thought. Yes. And it, some, sometimes it, when you get educated, and they got educated, it, it works against your point of view that uh, rather than stand out there with egg on their face, they decided not to come not back, to come which back, is yeah. a good thing. Because it was, what was it, found out after Clancy passed away that it was actually him that 
food with the horse's yeah. feet. Because I know when the horse was that cat dies, that horse's feet was in pristine yeah. condition. And then two or three weeks later, he putting these pictures out about how this horse's feet's messed up. That happened after it left cat dies. So what he was what he did, he did. All right. We're going to go to the fun show. We got some fun show victory passes that we're going to be going over. So let's get them started. Carol Baxter of Alexander. Right there she is, Jimmer's country girl. That's a nice always right there. <clears throat> Never been beat in amateur class, only lost one open class. That's really getting it done. But now Carol Baxter, she's an amateur that flat knows how to ride a horse. <laughs> and the biggest thing about this is, this man don't get to show a whole lot because the way where Dale and the man down there in South Mississippi, they don't have a lot of horse shows. So only yeah. pretty much show they get to show as ones when they come up here. Yep. And, and maybe an Alabama show. Yeah. Or Louisiana show. Right here, Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford. For owner William Bradford. This horse right here has been in the winter circle a lot of times oh, for years. Yeah. Real nice horse. Right there, Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald. I tell you what, well, you know, every time I see this horse, I think of the chest set. Classic horse, amateur winner. They won all kind of blue ribbons. You got it, a bunch. Multi-time world champion, world grand champion. He, uh, just get it. Here's first night out in Alley Joe Jacobs. Gregory and Jacob. Seen her Saturday night, and I told her, I said, Hey, Allie Joe, would you ride a wild goat? She said, I'll ride anything I can get my hands no. on. <laughs> she's a nice young lady. Oh, she is now. She's a, she's a mess. Our parents is real nice people. I like both of them. Jake does a lot for the yeah. industry. And that, I mean, that's, that, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Me and Pocahontas and Tyler Balcom, your Marion Gildan winner for Allison Armstrong. Tell you what, horse right here is, I mean, nice now. Yes. He can flat get it done. Jose's King of Queens and Summer Brooks, amateur two-year-old stallion. You know what, that's a nice horse too. Yeah, that was a nice Summer's horse. Summer's a good rider. Yeah, buddy, she can flat get it done. Here's a Dixie label, Chloe McSwain. 12 to 17 winner. That's a real nice horse, and I tell you, Chloe can ride real well, too. Well, she rides other breeds, too. Yeah. We were talking about some of them getting on these uh, racking horses, speed yeah. rackers. Yep. Not today. <laughs> Right there, the black listener. This horse right here, he has been out there making shows for two or three years now. Yeah. Just now getting his just due. But that horse has been good for years. I always have been real good. Eventually, they have to pay attention. Yeah. She flat put on a show with him that night. And here's Black Gin Scout and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm, amateur five-year-old stallion winner. Megan is a good rider. That's a real nice horse. Oh, Lord, yeah. She can get it done. <coughs> 
Tell you what, she just reloads all yeah. she does. Here's Forma Line and Carol Baxter. That's a real nice horse. That horse there yeah. been good too. I mean, he's been good for years. He have. Josh, Josh has have done a real good job with that horse. Much better than that. Now, Tell you what, Carol Maxson, she's a nice lady too. I enjoyed the interview oh, yes, her in Alabama. It was a joy. She's been around these horses a long time too. Set that saddle. Right here is Joe Paul and Winky Groover. Well, I'm going to tell you what. This horse shows, and then the following week he'll come back and show again. And, and he he is just becoming Mr. Automatic. Oh yeah. Winky got the key to him. Well, I like him in this specialty class now. I really do. Here's I'm Charlie Black, CFF and Dahlia Smith Har for Smith and Har. Amateur four-year-old Marin Gildan winner. Didn't you tell me they trained this one? They, they trained this themselves. Yeah, they sure do. That's one thing when I talked to Kenny that he told me, he said, we train that one ourselves. We got a lot of amateurs that are, they don't want to be trainers, but they like training their own horses. horses yeah. And they can go out here and compete in these open classes with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. I know we got an amateur owned and trained class, but you'll find Dahlia and, and Kenny, they're showing them open classes. Oh, they yeah. don't care. What they were saying, if you really like to ride, it makes no difference. Yeah. Just get out there and ride. Right here's Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs, your Lebanon underwinner. That's a big old horse and yeah. a little bitty lady. Horse do a lot of walking and shaking. He sure does. Like Mac Deacle says, when she rides, she has total control. Yeah. And right there, it's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. Eli does a good hey. job. These kids, I'm telling you now, they're the future. Yeah. All of them. And Eli, buddy, he don't take a back seat no. to nobody. He just gets out there and goes to it. And I, I'm real happy to see this one back. She's limitless in Molly Walters. Amateur Marion Gildan winner. I love that Bay Mare. Hmm. That's an old one that's got a bucket full of ribbon, blue ribbons. Tell me about it. See, I need to count up how many ribbons in World Grand Championships and World Championships these horses have won. Yeah, that one right there, buddy, now, I mean, she's been around a while. Here's Annie's line with cash and Chloe McSwain. You show pleasure winner. Mm -mm. We've got a lot of real nice show pleasure horses. Yes. That's a nice one right there. I'm going to tell you, that show pleasure class is a hot class. Tell me about it. Right here, I'm glad to see this one back too. A Jen Dewin and Kendra Myers. Yeah. For Sherry Roberts, amateur specialty winner. 
It's a world champion, world grand champion. A 10 to win wins the blue here on Saturday night in our amateur market stallion class. Kendra Meyer directs the stallion to the blue ribbon to the Harold Roberts family of Van Buren, Missouri. A 10 to win and Kendra Meyer. Right here's Switchblade and Ali Joe Jacobs. Jacobs and Mac Waters, I tell you what. Every time you see her on this horse, she's getting better yeah. and better. Road clean out from under her hat this time. And the better she gets on that horse, the more she's going to win. Yeah. Just get ready for it. Right here is the ultimate honor in Jack Harney. Jack's going to be on Celebration News this year. I talked to him Saturday night. But yeah, he'd come over, even though it was 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Bright young man, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice holes. Right here, I am Mighty Jose and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield, your 15 to an under reserve winner. This horse right here was hurt. Yeah. So he missed a little bit, but now he's back, and I mean, he's back in style, buddy. I am Mighty Jose. That's a nice horse. That was a good class. Yes, it was. Mighty nice class. Mighty nice. All right, got that done. Now what are we up to? We gotta take a commercial break. No, we don't. We're going to Columbia. We ain't even gonna take a break. We're just gonna keep going. We'll go straight through Columbia. Well, I tell you what, now they, they had a good show. They had yeah, a good they compliance did. rate. Had three hundred and eighty four horses up there. Man. They now made the they had a hundred and thirty seven, a hundred and forty four, and now they had a hundred and three, I'm sorry. A hundred and forty four uh, hundred and forty four and a hundred and thirty seven. Okay. Ended up with uh, 384 total horses with a 99% compliance rate. And we even passed Clint C's horse after he went through that gruesome inspection process. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I, I wished he was here so I could still run. Here she is, Coach. I tell you what, this class right here, Allie Joe, really, really made a great show, buddy. I she did. She made one. a real good show. I'm Coach Cal. She uh, she really got it done. Now she did. She got it done. Show pleasure, winner. Oh, let's take you a can't look ask for better than that. She's the owner and from Murfreesboro. I'm you can tell Cal. in her past shows that every time she's getting more and more and more yeah. and more. And this time, buddy, I mean, she she did that right there for the show. I mean, when it comes time, she's ready. Here's a mighty Jen and Jimmy McConnell for Mike Floyd, your Ryder Cup three-year-old winner. Yeah, Mike, Mike Floyd does a lot for oh, yeah. the industry. Super good guy. A real nice guy. He got, some, he got a good lineup of horses, too. <laughs> he always had some good horses. Mike had some good horses. And here's a King Thane and Bob Adcock. For Bob Adcock, your amateur riders on walking stallions reserve winner. But he, he Bob made a great show. He's a, he's, he's a good rider, oh, yeah, though. He's I mean, a good rider. And let's be honest, he's got a good string of horses. I, he I likes believe it. I'd give him some sawdust for that right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's old shavings there himself. He, that's him. The king of shavings. And right here he is, Texas. honored in Texas. Look the way that horse holds that yeah. Getting it done. Honored in Texas, 
There you go. Boy, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Just a smooth. Take him on to the barn, buddy. Walk on. Get her done. There he is, the medalist. And Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. And he stays right there with him, then. Yes, he does. I tell you what, he wins his share of oh, ribbons, yes. and he just keeps coming back. But the thing, I'm two weekends in a row that this horse showed. Yeah. Just like this one right here, two yeah. weekends in a row. That says a lot for the trainer and the horse yeah. and the owner. I didn't look to see. Winky may have took him to Crossville. Georgia, Can't Florida ever tell. Line. Georgia, Florida line and Knox Blackburn for Robert North. That was that wins a lot. He, he deserves it too. Yeah. Now he's a good one, and I mean a good one. Looking good. Knox is a good trainer. Yeah. He's a good amateur trainer. You know, for amateur, he puts a lot of them in there. Yep. Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. I was tickled for her. Yeah. Oh. She's a veteran, and she, she told me she was tore off. She said, said she knew she was in a good class, but when they called her number, she said she stopped paying it. <laughs> but she deserved it now. She made a great show. I really thought it was between her and by Felicia, yeah. the fifth place whore. Beth, Beth's a good person, a real good person. And right here is Twisted with Honors and Allison Armstrong. And she put on the show. She did. I'm glad her and this horse is getting it, it's coming together. Yeah, they are. She likes the show. Yeah. There you go. Twisted with Honors, the Blue Ribbon Honor in this class tonight for amateur riders 50 and over. That's Allison Armstrong, the owner of the Coming to Columbia, Tennessee from Hickory, North Carolina. She gets it done now. Yeah. Yep. Is that a good seat? Right here, I'm big enough. Now, here's what we did. We got Maxine on I'm Big Enough. Then we've got BB on the country lineman. Yeah. And we we've, we've got the names in there. And we we kind of got them crisscrossed, but there's BB. And she but she was on the country line. With. Yeah. And I think we've got that right now. I tell you, it was that's the first time I ever see them show against each other. You know, that's what I told, but they said not. Nah, they've done it before. Here's Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family. Nice horse. Hey, super nice horse. Super. Hey, what, that was a tough, tough class now. Yeah, it, was. it really was. That was a tough class. But I, I like True Blue, and I, I like the second place horse. I, I like the fourth place horse. horse. Yeah. I liked them all, really. Every horse in there was a real good horse. They, well, they just, some tough competition oh, yeah. is what that was. And Columbia had a fantastic show. Yeah. They really they did. They show. I guess, no, you got to do your thing now. We'll be right back after these messages. 
Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Irwin. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a campus full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. <clears throat> My co-partner here, he stepped out for a minute there. I guess we're going to go to... <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had to go. I had to go get him a water. water. That's right. <laughs> See how good I am. To, a good person. I'm, I'm good. good to, I'm good to everybody. Good or we're running late. I didn't know you needed the water until it was about <laughs> time for us to come back. All right, but th this is good. Now they know we're live. That's right. <laughs> we're not. We're not paying it. All right, we're going to go to the cancer show part one. Out there is a champ in Eli Cunningham. Tell you what, that young man. Oh yeah. He he is. Uh, he just he, he's he's a character. Yeah, he really is. That's a nice little horse. Tell you what, he he will. He will be in that winter circle on this horse oh, yeah. for the years old. He's just, he's that good a rider. Yeah. <clears throat> but he was in there against a tough one now. Amateur five-year-old mares. This was a good class right here. Yep. Dim the lights and Sadie Parsons took the blue for Rod and Sadie Parsons. Imagine I am Jamie Hajik, or Mr. That was Sonny McCarter. <laughs> Imagine I am Jamie. Oh, uh, I already did that one. Jose's Taboo. Julie Cole was reserved and stroke. Kimberly Morrison finished out the ribbons in your amateur five year old Marion Gilding class. 
I thought Sadie made a good show. Yes. You know, she she got her start in Saddlebridge. A lot of people don't know that, but she didn't. She showed there for years, and then she didn't show for years. She come back into the industry, uh -huh. and she worked for the report. Then she worked with Fast, then went back to the report, and now she's in Nashville. But she wanted to get back to riding. She's so, doing a real good job. She got some real nice horses. Yes, she does. Then the lights is one. Yep. They had a good crowd. There was more of them on our side than it was on the other. Yeah. Because they, they had put box seats up across the way, which was good. She does. She's doing a real good job mm -hmm. on that. Yes, she is. I, I thought she was doing a real good job yep. right that horse. A lot of people didn't know that she was that she ever sh showed before, uh -huh. but she did. But it was like I say, it was Saddlebreds that where she got her start. She is a writer. She has yeah. written articles for Associated Press. Okay. Everybody for the uh, Shelville Times Gazette. There she is, dim the lights in Sadie Parsons. For riding Sadie Parsons. Amateur five-year-old Marin Gildin winner. Had a real good show. I thought so. I thought she made a good show. Knox Blackburn trains her horses yeah. for. Right here's Pro Am. This was a tough class. I don't care what anybody. Tough class. It, it was. Dorrell, Samantha Green, and Jeremy Williams took the blue for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. The Longmire, Linda Gerard, and Drew Graves for Dr. Linda Gerard. Lily Waits, Betty Denton, and Justin Harris for Betty Denton. Showboat's Pit Boss, Skylar Nipper, and Lake Weaver. Bar Skyler Nipper, Leavenworth, Donna Buchanan and Kayla Balkum for William and Donna Buchanan. I like that name, Leavenworth. Mm -hmm. That's a penitentiary, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna name one Fort Knox. <laughs> <coughs> That's what we'll do. We'll yeah, this is a real good class here. We changed 9-11's name to Fort Knox. <laughs> Tell you what, that Durrell, he has been good for several oh, years. Oh, yeah, but that's now, a nice horse. Samantha, She's a she rider. is a jockey. She can ride. Have you ever seen uh, his other daughter ride? Yeah, Corey. Yep. Corey's a good rider. Yep. You know where she made her first show? I did. <clears throat> I was there. And, and, his, and her father liked to have a pit when she come in the ring because he didn't know nothing about it. <laughs> we was in Virginia. Okay. But this was a good class. Well, there, there was a spot over in that car. Oh, yeah. Several of them horses hit it. Right there he is, Pro-Am winner, Dorrell, Samantha Green, and Jeremy Williams. Good job. Taught him well, right? Taught him well, <laughs> taught him very well. <laughs> He was a good student.
Beside him, Jeremy. Now, his, this was a class here. Yeah, this was a good class here, too. And I was tickled for Emma, because she has shown Richie Hawk, to, and, and I thought she's won before, and she didn't get it. Yeah. Jose's Richie Hawk and Emma Black took the blue for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. Dale So and Kenley Johnson was reserved for Edward and Ralph Johnson. Jose the Champ, Cole McCormick for Mike McCormick. Young Jackson, Daniel Smith for Larry West family. And Blue Ray, Madison Plemons for Dickinson's, Dickerson and Plemons. That young Jackson, I, I told his grandmother yeah. that he sets a good this saddle. Yeah. Now he does. A lot of these youngsters are better riders than adults. Oh yeah. Hey, what? Emma sets a good seat. Oh, yeah. She's Emma a, sets a real good seat. Mm -hmm. She does a good job. There, there's Daniel. Emma's a, a real soft-spoken Yes, yeah, she kid. is. Yeah, she's <laughs> she very, is. very quiet. Very quiet and stuff like that, but real um, likable and polite and everything else. I have a granddaughter like that, very soft spoken. Right there she is, Ritzy Hawkins, Emma Black. You 17 and under winner. Her dad was very proud of her. Oh yeah. Well, her mother was, was strutting too, oh, buddy. Yeah. She she was tickled to death. But now she made a great show in Virginia. I can't Virginia's just happy. She, oh yeah. Virginia likes to see her horses in the ring. Yeah. And when they win, there's icing on the cake mm -hmm. for her. But Emma made, I thought she made an excellent She made show, a good ride. No doubt about it. Okay, now what we're going to do? We go into, that's part one. We got to do another commercial. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. And I ain't going after no water. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal, 931-680-0897. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. 
An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general. But is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All righty, we're back and I didn't go get no water. No, you didn't go get no water. <laughs> I got mine right here. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you need to bring your own water. <laughs> we won't have to go get it. <laughs> okay, we, we got a little bit more video and a real good three-year-old class, buddy. I mean oh, yeah. a good three-year-old class. And I, I'm gonna tell you the truth, I really like, it took me a minute to catch on to the name of this horse, but I really like it. <laughs> Walk the line. They must be having tequila. Yeah. And Clay Sanderson took the blue for Justin Harney, Prince of Liberty, and Knox Blackburn for LaRue McWaters, The Waymaker, R.M. Kelly for Jay Jacobs, Desperate Man, Bill Calloway for Gus King, and Honor Soul Solid for Tanner Burks for Tommy and Nancy Mills. That that was a tough class. It really was. Oh, it was a real tough class. That was a good class. You know, I've been looking at some of these horses. Jake Jacobs got a lot of real nice horses. He got a good lineup of horses. There he is. Clay does a real good job with horses. Yeah, they do. Well, he got he's got a, some good a good guy working for him. Too. Yeah, a good team out there. Yeah, it is. Young Nathan, guys. Yeah, Nathan, Weaver, Blake. And they kind of they real good to get get along good with each other. Well, I tell you what, Larry you, George out there. You got some good guys, and then you got some older guy, guidance yeah. that can bring some stuff to the table. Because Lake, his dad and his grandfather both, yeah. that, that's good experience, good advice. But right here it is, walk the line. I kind of like that horse a lot. Yeah. And I like the name. Walk the line and Clay Sanderson three-year-old stallion Ryder Cup winner. That's a good class to win right there, buddy. It really was. Real good class to win. And here's straight Republican and Justin Harney, your amateur two-year-old winner. Justin's a good jockey. Oh, yeah, Justin is a good jockey. And I thought he did real well. Yeah. Straight Republican. And I agree with the horse. <laughs> oh, um, Justin, you know, his dad was a real good horse trainer. Well, I'll tell you what, John now, He's flat doing some riding. His, his son can flat ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we got a special video. It's short, but it's straight to the point. And it, it's Sadie getting back in here. She wanted a horse that she could depend on, but she wanted a good horse. Yeah. And she picked a good one. So let's go. 
a lady and her horse is the best way to describe Sadie Parsons and four-time world champion and world grand champion Epic as they team up for the 2023 show season. Sadie wanted a great partner she could depend on in the show ring, and three-time amateur show pleasure world champion and world grand champion Epic was the perfect choice. As he continues the show, he is at the top of the show pleasure division and the horse of Sadie's dreams. Sadie asks for your support as she guides Epic to additional blue ribbon performances during the 2023 show season. Oh, yes. tough, huh? Epic good, is, yeah. is, is a good tough. Horse. And a lot of people didn't realize that Sadie Parsons could ride like yeah. that. But now she, she's a oh, good yeah, jockey. She, she's she, a good jockey. And she knows what she's doing. She, she just, and she loves to show. Yeah. And she, she's good for the industry. She, she's living in Nashville now, but she's still riding. Yeah. So, all right, this weekend we've got the show in Belfast Friday night. <laughs> And we've got, you can call Nancy Lynn Green at 931-993-3187. Saturday, we've got the Summer Classic in Arab. Call Jamie Bradshaw, 256-679-0013. Their start time is at 5. John Allen Callaway, have you ever been to a show, John Allen Judge? Yes, I have. But he's a good judge. Oh, he's now. a good judge. And, and, if you if you think you're gonna slip up one on him, you you he gonna tie what he like. That, he's gonna tie it. the ones that he thinks are getting it done. Yep, that's so right. We've I've had one I showed one horse or I didn't, but the girl that showed my horses for me, uh, and uh, I like him. He tied her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he tied her first. But it he is a good judge. There's no doubt. I like about him. It. He tied me first too before. Oh, he did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we won't throw no rocks. <laughs> John Allen, we're gonna brag on your judging, <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's right. To everybody, <laughs> we just say he tied me. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> he's is that good is that what it takes? That's, yeah, that's what it takes. Russ Thompson tied you one. Yeah, he's a good I'll one. I watch where Russ yeah. tied you. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will uh, bring you this. This gonna be known as the way out show, I guess. <laughs> we ain't gonna leave for no water or nothing. But we will see you next week right here with another episode of What a Horse. How's yes, that? That's good. That's good. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down a low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.